the Studio Vlog. I'm Samia, and we have a lot to talk about. There's been a lot going on in the month of March, and it is now April when I am finishing this up, and I can't wait to take you on all the adventures we went on. So much happened. We saw Prey. I finally finished a big painting. I can't remember anything that's happening. I've been working on the poetry book. I opened and briefly closed and reopened my sticker shop. It's been a lot going on. We're gonna catch up. It's gonna be great. So please enjoy the vlog and thank you for being here.
it's been a while since I talked. It's been quite a few weeks. <laughs> been doing a lot this month. I have been working on the cover for the poetry book. It just needs one more round of changes, just one more. Um, it's going really well. I got the files back from the designer and then pulled them into my copy of InDesign to look things over and then realized that there are a number of technical reasons I couldn't make the changes myself like I thought I could. So that kind of delayed me because now I, I need him to do it. And I was hoping to let him off the hook at this point, but it's fine. Um, thank God he's a good friend, a talented designer, and I can throw a little more money at the problem. Um, just because you should compensate your friends for their work. So I'm still waiting on that, but I did finally finalize the cover design. I tried out a few different things. I tried out a cityscape and did some speckly effects for like as if there's lights around it, but it doesn't really go with the title. And then I put, um, I made an image with a coffee cup and a letter nearby, which felt a little bit more on, but still kind of detached. And I finally settled on what was my first idea for a cover. Um, the letters, the letter with hearts flowing out of it. So this is a mock-up of the final cover. Um, it's not quite accurate, but it's close. So I'm working on that. I'm making the cover design. I designed, yeah, I'm learning a lot from doing this. I'm really excited to have it. No idea how this is gonna go. I don't know if it'll be even remotely successful, but it'll be done. So like, there's that, right? And then I've also been painting a lot. I finally finished my Yu Yu Hakusho wash painting. I've been working on it since early March, I think. So it's been quite a while. No, I've been working on it since February. Oh my God. It's been quite a while and I was avoiding it for a while, but it's finally done. It's behind me. Ta -da! I'm gonna use some colored pencil to outline some of the shapes and like do some of the finer work and then it will be actually done. And I will see about when I can scan it in and prep it for prints. I opened my shop Again, I have more products up there. I have some prints of two of my other anime paintings available for sale, as well as new hats, which turned out very cute, um, and stickers and stuff like that. So those are in my Etsy shop, which is linked below. Last month, we got to see a good friend of ours um, perform in a production of Cats. He is in the musical theater show Cats and they've been touring all around the country and they finally made a stop in New Jersey, which is close to where we are. So we went out there, we made a weekend of it. We got to see him for the first time in a while, which was really, really nice. Um, that show, the music is great. It was a live orchestra. I cannot believe what those performers put their bodies through. Like I cannot in my wildest dreams imagine doing multiple shows a week throwing myself around the stage the way they do. It was wonderful. He was so great. And so I have some clips of like our travels and going out there, you know, just some some near travel vibes. And yeah, I've just been working on stuff. I have been working on a lot of portraits. I'm trying to get back to basics with my art practice and just work on improving my skills in general. It's something I always work on, but I feel like I'm really getting a handle on like portraits of people where they like look like the person I'm trying to draw. And this is like a 10 year struggle right here. I have never been able to like make portraits that really look like the person. Like I've been lucky that I've been fairly good at making sort of like illustrative portraits that are like, you know, a stylized version of what somebody looks like and people like those. And I've gotten a bunch of those for commissions. But I feel like the portraits I've been doing lately, like, are really starting to, like, actually look like people in sort of, like, a, a more realistic way rather than a stylized or, like, illustrative way. And I like both. I just think it's really fun, the challenge of making a charcoal-style digital portrait look as close as possible to the reference imagery. But that's some of the work I've been doing over the last month. The upcoming goals. If you have some, you should set some, too. Here are mine. Um, finishing the poetry book, obviously. Setting a reel on sale date so I can shout it from the rooftops and start advertising for it. 
um, continuing to film. I've been filming a lot of stuff for TikTok and for Instagram, and I really do like posting to social media. I like the audience feedback on TikTok. I feel like I've found people that wouldn't normally find my work um, over there, and that's really encouraging. Yeah. And by the way, if you're here on YouTube with me and you've got questions about materials or stuff that I use, if there are certain videos you'd like to see, please comment below. Please tell me how you are. And um, tell me one thing from this week that made you happy. All right, I'll talk to you soon. but I just wanted to hop on and say that I already got a few orders for my new hat <laughs> and I'm so excited mainly because the um, manufacturer I'm using to make the hat it is so easy to just order it and I'm so happy that there is so much less work for me to do to make this product happen and I'm sorry about the shaky phone camera but I am just joyful and I wanted to share that joy. So that's the vlog. Thank you so much again for coming here. Please like if you liked it. I hope you did. Please comment below your favorite snack that you have had this week. Um, and please subscribe because I am posting videos more often now. I am posting somewhat regularly the first time in my life. I'm very excited about it. I already have more footage for the next studio vlog. I'm thinking of doing some art videos. And by the way, if there is anything that you want to learn about, um, art topic, what it's like to juggle a date job and, and my art job, um, anything like that, anything about media, using gouache, like let me know. I'm happy to make videos on any topic. I honestly just like geeking about art. So that's it from me. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay safe out there. I hope to see you again. Bye, friends.